Girls, 17-18-400 IM. The finals in lane number one at the bottom of your screen is Caitlin Gutierrez, unattached. Also unattached in lanes two through five, Sam Rados in two, Michelle Berry in three, Catherine Breed in four, your leader from this morning, and Shannon Holton in five, Lauren Becker in lane six from Edmonton, Hannah Burton in seven from Northern Nevada, and in lane number eight at the top of your screen is Megan Hale from Reno Aquatics. Out in front after the first 50 of the 100 is lane number four, Catherine Breed. She's out on 27.9 for her first 50 fly. We saw Breed in the 200 backstroke yesterday. She was champion and record setter with a 157.7 in that two back. So she's looking strong here in the butterfly. And we know she's going to put together a good backstroke leg right here. She's going to be your leader after the butterfly with a 59.15. But only one tenth of a second behind her is Holton in lane number five. Irvine Nova flying fish. I need a coach to the uh, timing trailer at the starter's end of the pool. Flying fish and Irvine Nova to the, correction, flying fish and Virginia Nova to the timing trailer, please. Race still pretty close halfway through the backstroke leg. At the 150. Catherine Breed That's putting Catherine it together Breed here at 130.9. Now about a second separates these two girls. Quite, quite a good distance ahead of the rest of this field. Again, if I can get the Virginia Nova and Flying Fish coach to the timing trailer, please. Thank you. We want to apologize to any of you guys watching on the live feed. We're having a little bit of trouble here with the internet, uh, but we hopefully have that figured out. We will have all of these races available on demand tomorrow morning, so we're not missing any of these races on demand. Catherine Breed, your leader still after the butterfly leg, I mean, excuse me, the backstroke leg. This morning, Breed was a 429.3 here in the 200 IM and already making a move, not even halfway through this breaststroke leg is Holton coming on very strong. She's already taken over the leadership position in just over half of the breaststroke leg. Great breaststroke leg right there by Shannon Holton, unattached as well. She's now a body length ahead of Breed going to come down to that freestyle leg. Good race for third place going on right now between Michelle Berry in three and up there in the top of your screen, lane number six, that's Lauren Becker. And looking very dominant is Shannon Holton in lane number five. She is trying to secure this 400 IM championship right here after the breaststroke leg. She is going to have a few a second Curry. lead right there over Catherine Breed, who was your 200 backstroke champion from yesterday. And Shannon Holton looking very strong out front, now has some clear water. Catherine Breed going to see if she can do some damage and catch up, but that's a lot of, a lot of yardage to make up for just 100 freestyle. This morning, Holton was a 432. She is definitely going to be under that mark, so she might have been saving up a little bit this morning. The current Far Western record here in this event is a 423, so I anticipate she's going to be right around that mark. Breed looking strong here in this freestyle, but just too much space in between her and Shannon to make up the difference. Your champion this year in the girls 17, 18, 400 IM is going to be Shannon Holton with a new Far Western record, 417, 36. Unbelievable swim. Second place, Catherine Breed with a 421, 67. And that is a good 15 second drop there from the prelim swim for Holton. Definitely safe to say she did not give it. She definitely saved up a little bit from this morning. Touching for third is going to be lane number six, Lauren Becker with a 433-63. Well, Garrett.